and I'm working on the S2000. This is uh, a summer project, basically. So it gets very hot here in California at the racetracks out here. So instead of beating the car up over summer, I'm going to be working on it over summer and doing a lot of maintenance on it. So this car has been sitting for a few weeks. The first thing that happened when I started it up is the fuel leaked out uh, from here down in there. There's a lot of fuel coming out on the ground. So I got a uh, clamp, sealed that up. I'm going to start the car and test that now. And then we're going to go ahead and change the fluids, the diff fluid, the trans fluid, and the engine oil. And then so these are the Nexen tires that I was running last season at the track. And uh, it was pretty hot the last time I went out there. And I actually overdrove the tires. And when you overdrive the tires, chunks of the rubber start to come off. And so you can see that right here. Got some chunks coming off on the rubber. Now, another, another really interesting thing is the effect that the brake ducts have on the brake rotors. So here I have a rotor that failed. You can see the crack there. But what you notice is that, is that there's not a lot of micro cracks on this rotor. And that's the way that S2000 rotors typically fail. Now, with the brake ducts, on the other hand, you can see there's just a ton of cracks, and the rotor hasn't failed yet. And uh, this rotor's lasted a lot longer than normal. You can see my pads are almost used up. But uh, these brake ducts are a great investment. You get longer life out of your rotors and longer life out of your pads, and your fluid doesn't boil. And that is really great. So it's cool to open up the car and see that stuff, but I still would like to possibly upgrade to a big brake kit. We'll talk about that in the future. Let's get started on the maintenance. I'm gonna go in there and start the car. Into the car and see if gas is spilling out on the ground. Key in the ignition. So while that's warming up, as you can see here, I can't get this car out of the garage for a while. Uh, I gotta do the diff fluid, I gotta do the transmission fluid, the engine oil, and then I want to consider upgrading to a big brake kit. And, and upgrading to a big brake kit is a sort of interesting cost analysis because if you take your car to the track enough, you can actually save money with the big brake kit. And so it'll be fun to Look at that, look at those numbers. All right, so we're doing the transmission fluid right now, and the fluid that's coming out looks pretty clean, but it's a year old, and the shifts were getting a little scratchy. Now I'm changing from AMS oil over to Motul gear oil. Wrapping up the, uh, the S2000 fluid change stuff for now. So I put this Motul gear oil in uh, the transmission and the differential. It says transmission and differential on there. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can use the same fluid for transmission and differential. We'll see how that does. Uh, change the engine oil too. And now I am left with uh, what to do next. So I have this wheel set over here. These wheels don't fit a big brake kit. So if I go big brake kit, I have to get a new wheel set. And the time to do that is now because I'm going to get new tires. But also, I put a license plate frame on here. Nice little SU2000 license plate frame. This is uh, ready to go. Just paid registration. What do you guys think? Should I get a big brake kit for this? Or should I leave this project alone and start building something else? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. We'll go from there. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.